and I think we're live now. Sorry about all that. Uh, I didn't know how to actually get it to go from a previewed to a sort of scheduled thing to actually running. Um, but welcome to Goldfish Plays Donk the Card Game. That's right, a card game based on an obscure Amiga title that has been brought to us by one of the original developers who released it under his new company, Sino Kono Games. Hopefully this is all working correctly. I'm still quite new at using uh, using uh, YouTube video and everything. But uh, let's. this is the deck. Uh, this is where all our action takes place. And uh, the goal is to defeat Elder Down, who is hidden behind his fortress. And we do that by attacking it. But we can only defeat him completely by getting a gem from each of the zones. And when we get a gem, we can then find the exit and we've completed that zone. But you can end up uh, finding the exit first and you have to then go back into the zone. It will all make sense as we play, I'm sure. I've played this a couple of times and so far only won one game. Um, so hopefully we can actually win a game tonight. Uh, so let's just jump straight in and I'll explain the rules as we go. And I hope you're okay with just seeing the hands because uh, the, the beard is uh, not really on the table here. So I've already shuffled most of these uh, zones but just to show that it is fully shuffled and I've not given myself an unfair advantage we can quickly shuffle these zones. Now what you end up doing is in each of the zones there will be obstacles and bad guys that will get in your way uh, and you either have to defeat them, work around them or sometimes you end up just dying to them but thankfully you have an attack ability which is where the spin power comes in and you have power-ups which make things easier for you. So we're almost finished shuffling the deck and uh, the only other thing I'm going to say is that we're playing this on easy mode. There is three difficulty settings and we'll just play it on easy and you can actually play this game in one or two players. There is a whole second set of cards that allow you to play as Jugs Judo. As you can see here. I'm just going to play it in a single player mode to start off with and uh, maybe at some point we can try a whole sort of Twitch plays and we can have someone in the chat channel or something trying to play as the second character but let's not get ahead of ourselves shall we? Now I've set this up, you can set these cards up in any sort of order, or well, the zones up in any order you like. I have set them up in an order that I think makes it a bit easier. So we're going to be starting from here and working our way round. Hopefully you'll see why as we go. So the first thing we've got to do is pick up a power up. So we have a shield. Now we can use that when we're fighting to not lose a spin point. What that means we'll see in a second. So let's just start at sub aqua zone. So we can take the first card and it's a baddie. Now I don't know if you can read the details on it but it has an attack power of one. If we have more power than it then we defeat it and we get a power up. If we have equal we evade it and if we have less then we all lose a life. So in this instance we have three spin power and it has one so we defeat it. Now I can actually use this power up with this attack so I will not lose a spin power. Normally when you attack and win your spin attack will go down. So start off with we're going to use that to defeat that. So that goes to the bottom of the deck. That goes to the bottom of the deck and we get another power up which is another shield. 
and uh, if you're interested or worried about the music this actually is the music from the cd32 version there is bits of both the cd32 music and the original amiga music so uh yeah enjoy so let's go on to our next card and the seaweed pod again it's a baddie our spin power is much greater so it's defeated now i could use the shield but uh uh, let's just use the shield again. It's always good, and we get an extra life. So our lives now go up to four. But it does mean we don't have any power-ups left, so... I probably should try and collect some, rather than uh, let them deplete. So, next card. And this is a good example of why. We've hit a spiked pit, or a trap. Now, I don't have any power-ups that will help me here. So, I'm going to lose a life. I now go down to three lives, and that spike pit goes to the bottom. And this is basically how you'll go through the whole game. Switch. We've got nothing to switch yet. We'll see what that's useful for very soon. Next, a plankton ball. Our attack power is three, and we defeat that quite easily. So that goes to the bottom. And our spin power goes down to two. So next card, Octobot. It's equal, so we just... Did I forget to pick up a card for that last one? I think I might have done. Yes, I did. Oh, this is going well already, isn't it? So jump, that's useful for avoiding hazards. Uh, that's pretty much it, really. So we avoided that one, and so our spin power now goes down to one. So flip over to the next one. Tap power of one. Tap power of one. We avoid it. Go to the bottom and we're now down to no spin power. Now the only way to get spin power back is either by dying or by finding the gem. This is because we're playing on easy mode. If we we're playing on normal we'd either pick between that and gaining an extra life when we leave a level. But in easy mode, we'll get an extra life when we leave a level, and we'll also get an extra spin power when we find the gem. And we found the exit. This means that uh, we have to leave this zone. Now, what I've been doing is I leave that at the top just to remind me that I've been kicked out of this zone. So I'm going to move on to Electro Moss Zone next and that attack power is way higher than mine and so he defeats us and so that goes to the bottom of the deck our spin power goes back up to three and our lives now go down to two this isn't a particularly great game so far hopefully um yeah hopefully things will get better so next card the cosmic trooper Three versus one, we defeat it. And we get a power up. Ah, Eggy Bomb. We can use that to defeat an enemy without having to use any of our spin power. Next card, Tentacle Pit. Thankfully, we have the jump, so we can jump over it and not lose a life. And we've hit the exit again. We've not seen a gem at all so far in this game. And what's worse is that when we find the gem, we're going to have to then work back through a lot of these cards to find the exit again. So let's move on to Plasma Zone. And Walker Bot, two and two. Actually, you know what? Let's use the Eggy Bomb just to defeat him. So we don't use up any of our spin power. And I think. I get a card for this. Oh, do you get spin power back when you enter a new zone? Okay. <laughs> so just entering a new zone without... Uh, without any, Okay, right. That will definitely make things a lot easier. And hopefully I've not made a mistake here um, with using an Eggy Bomb and giving myself a power-up. 
I'm sure that was in the rules somewhere and I must have skipped over it. But thank you. It's always great to have the actual developer in the chat comments who can put you right when you make a mistake. And uh, welcome and thank you to everyone else that's also in the, the chat as well. Um, <laughs> oh, right, well, let's continue as I, I've been at the moment and um, let's see if this makes things a lot easier, shall we? Oh, oh well. Well, that's uh, right. So let's continue. Thankfully, magma saw. We've got uh, spin power of two. We can defeat that quite easily. Awesome. That's good to hear. That's what I that's assumed would happen. Uh, and we get another. Uh, power up which is the jump which is a very useful one to have and we found <laughs> an exit again uh, so let's go back to this zone that we were working through before so the exit now goes to the bottom and based on what I've heard I can go up to two spin power because I've entered a new zone and got some power back so turn over the next card, drillable platform. Now we can spend a spin power to break that. Uh, if we do that, then we can skip whatever the next card is. Now seeing that I've only got two spin power and the next card could just be the gem anyway, uh, <laughs> I will uh, skip that and just take the next card. And it's the gem, yes! We have found our first gem, which will give us Three spin power again. Oh, do we always go back up to full uh, spin power whenever we enter a zone then? Okay, right, that makes it even easier than I was thinking, but we'll continue from that and we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll play it correctly, or at least sort of less sort of damaged as I've been doing it in the next game, hopefully. So hopefully we'll get through this one and we'll have another one. Um, but let's continue through. So we've got Cyberpod again. Spin power three, attack power of one. Did stand a chance. Goes to the bottom and we get another. Oh, I had that the wrong way around. And we get another power up, which is the float, which is quite useful. It allows you to uh, change zone uh, at will. But you'll still need to find the exit to actually complete that zone correctly. Sorry, my camera. I'm trying to use my decent camera to film this and uh, every so often it just decides that it wants to turn itself off. So if you see something come up on the screen every so often, uh, I am sorry. I am so professional. It, it, it hurts how professional I am. <laughs> uh, let's just continue with this, shall we? Um, so, seaweed pod. Oh, that should have gone down to two, I think. No, it went back up to three. Oh. I need to concentrate more on the game and less on the talking and fiddling with stuff. So, anyway, uh, we can defeat it uh, quite easily. Our spin power goes down to two, but we hit the situation where you can only have three power ups. So we can either discard one of them. I think you can, I think you can pick up one and then decide which one to discard. But I could be wrong. Um, at the moment, they are all actually quite useful ones. Uh, I'm going to discard the jump and see what we get. Oh, old timer. Not one of my favourite ones, but uh, we'll take it for now. And so spike pit. We can use the float to get over it. Switch, again, currently not useful. It's actually useful in, I think, these three zones. But we've not hit any of that bits yet. And what plankton ball, spin power two. That beats it. 
so it goes under and we get another power up which is the shield which is always useful I think that needs to go down to one and he is more powerful than us so I can actually use the old timer to bring his attack power down to one which means he equals and we evade him I think we must be coming close to the exit uh, not yet uh, and basically this little dude will defeat us but we can use the eggshell to stop losing a life that goes to the bottom of that <laughs> And we finally found the exit. <laughs> Which means we gain an extra life. So we're going back up to three lives. Uh, and I think what I'm going to do is um, we'll go to that zone. Which means we go back up to full power based on what I've heard. <laughs> So, that now goes to the bottom of the deck. And we turn over the next card, Teleporter. We can use this to jump to another zone if we want to. At the moment, we don't. So it's not much use to us. So it goes to the bottom of the deck. Next card, Mega Moth. We defeat him quite easily. He goes to the bottom of the deck. I mess up the little cloth I got here. That goes down to two and we get another shield. So, and this is what I've been expecting. So these block us from continuing. Uh, the switch we saw in this deck allows us to get past it. Now, if I remember rightly, three of these zones have switch blocks in them and the others have switches in them uh, and so what I tried to do is hit as many of the, the zones that have the switches in them early on so hopefully I can find a switch and turn them all off in one go uh, and so let's go to that zone which means our spin power returns and that goes to the bottom of the deck now at some point we're gonna have to start attacking Elder Downs Fortress as well but um, it will probably do that hopefully soon if we have enough spin power for it because I don't know if it I'm sure uh, good to hear that's the, the best strategy if I leave one of the zones and attack Elder Downs Fortress, does that mean I'll have attack with the spin power that I took out of the zone, or does it mean I'll have full spin power when I go to him? I think I I know the answer, but it's best to confirm. But um, let's just continue with this. Attack power two, three. It is defeated. That goes down. Goes to the bottom of the deck, and we get. Another, oh, three shields in a row. Uh, let's tempted actually. Uh, we've already done it, but drillable platform again. I'm not. I'm still looking for the gem, so I'm gonna skip that for now. It might be a mistake. The next one could be the switchable block, and I could get stuck. Oh no, it's the gem. So uh, yeah. Our spin power goes up and the gem will sit just to the side here just so we know that we we've, we've currently got the gem yep I, I that's what I figured so next one fire ant we defeat him quite easily I'm gonna spend one of my shields so I don't lose my spin power 
So I'm going to try and do what I can to keep my spin power up so I can attack the fortress at the end of this uh, zone, if I can. Next we're Lava Ball. And we've got nothing to protect ourselves against it, so uh, we're going down to two lives. This is the problem I find with these zones, uh, with the switchable blocks, is that they've got more obstacles that can be an instant death if you don't have the right power up. <laughs> Straight away, two of those in a row, so uh, I'm now in a bit of a precarious position where I am down to a single life. If I lose one more life, it's game over. Um, so. And we've hit the switchable block. Um, so I have to, to move on. Now, I'm going to use this chance to actually attack Elder Down's fortress. I think you can do that at the end of leaving any of them. Or if it's only when you've got the gem. Uh, I'll actually, I'm just going to skip onto Rock Zone because it should be a bit easier seeing I'm down to one life. Ah, the map! Now this is really good. This allows us to look at the next four cards and we can decide which card we want to go to. So, two, three, four. So if we look at them in that order, uh, we're going to jump straight to the, the gem. So, we'll end up going like that. under the deck. Right, give myself a bit of room. Now, we did see... I mean, yep. I figured as much, so that was correct. So, um, we're still going to have to go through the rest of this deck to actually uh, get to the exit, and we know it's going to be pretty far down. Yay. So, crazy bone. Well, we've got three and a one, and I'm going to use the shield so I don't lose any spin power. And we get a power, and yes, we get an extra life, which is very useful. And there we go, that's the switch. This is now unlocked these zones. So I can return to these zones and I know I can, can continue. This is um, this is actually working out reasonably well in my strategy head. So got uh, Hypno Smile still packed at power 3 versus his 2 and um, yeah, I'm going to use the shield again so I keep my attack power. And uh, we get a jump, which is really useful when we return to one of these more difficult zones. Oh, just straight away. <laughs> so use that to skip over that blade pit. I robot three versus one. We defeat it. Go down to two. And we get power up. map. No, use that again and I think right underneath two, three, four is the exit. So we have completed that zone, got an extra life. And uh, I think we can attack Eldenan's fortress because my spin power is equal to the fortress defense. Though, I could be wrong. So, for now, unless I'm corrected, I'm going to assume that we've been able to defeat the fortress defense and we get it damaged. And we can now return to 
one of these. So let's return to this one. No, you need more. Typical. <laughs> it's really difficult to make sure you have three health, at, uh, three spin power at the end of a, a level, so you're not quite sure when you're going to be hitting the end of the level. But your maximum spin power is only three, so you'd always have to make sure you're, you're at max. Or can you use this sort of... the eggy bomb to, <laughs> to help you out? I'm guessing not. Um, uh, let's continue with this one, and... Uh, we defeat it. And we get a power-up. <laughs> uh, and we found the gem, so we can go back up to spin power of three. And the map, again, a very useful card to get. So, got one, two, three, four, and that's the exit. <laughs> So, we use that in the gem, we get another life, we've completed that zone, we got three spin power against the fortress of two, and the fortress is down. Yes! <laughs> we definitely did that one correct that time. Though, we don't have a lot of zones to, uh, to attack it next time, so have to try and attack it at the end of each of the zones to make sure we get him. Yep. Can you keep attack? You have to just. You can only do one attack on that per per round. I'm guessing. But um, let's go to plasma zone. And the first thing we get is um, Walker Bot. Three versus two. We defeat him. So that goes down to two. He goes to the bottom of the deck, and we get power up. We got another float, which is useful. Magmasaurus, two versus the one. So we defeat him. Um, and uh, I think I'll keep those rather than old timer. Next card. Hey, it's the exit. <laughs> Which, we're at the maximum lives. We've only got one spin power. So we can't attack Elder Downs Fortress, unfortunately. Which uh, is going to make this game a little bit harder, I believe. But, but we can now go into Hanek Zone, and that will take us back up to full spin power. And <laughs> straight away, we hit a switchable block. Oh, well, we got blocked straight away. Never mind. So we're going to go from there to uh, Hab Zone. And um, uh, we don't need to teleport. And we've got the Space Invader. Um, I'm going to use. Uh, that's been power go down to two. And we'll get um, other cards. And um, uh, I'll keep what I've got. Fungal Fury, zero versus R2, he is defeated. Our spin power goes down again, but uh, shield. I think I want the shield rather than the egg. 
yeah. There is some thinking behind this. Yeah, that's usually what I try and do, but depending on my power-ups, I'm not always uh, in a position to do that, but yeah. So, we will evade the piranha plant, which I think puts us down to no spin power. And our next card is the gem, so we get one spin power back. Uh, And uh, that's equal, so our spin power is back down to zero. Weirdly, I'm actually hoping to find something that'll kill me next, so I actually get my powers back and get the map. So, actually, I'm just going to go with the next card, which is a switch, which will turn that off. That's useful. The next card is Plasma Dome. Now, I could avoid it with that, but instead, I'm actually going to let it kill me. So I'm going to go down to three lives, but that will give me my spin power back. Which is useful because I believe the next card is the Exit, which will give me my life back. And we've got Spin Power 3 versus Elder Dan's Fortress, which is damaged, and that is the Fortress destroyed. Yeah! Gaming the system. <laughs> so, we're going to go back to Hanuk Zone. And let's see... What have we got? Teleports again. Don't need to teleport. I think we're in a good position at the moment. I thought I read your spin power goes back up when you die. I'm now looking through the instructions. <laughs> I'm sure I read. bet I've completely misread the rules, which quite possible. If we do a second game, I'll obviously follow the rules far, <laughs> far better now that we know exactly what they are. Now I'm not just making crap up as I go along. I think you might be right. Um, part of me is like, uh, well, let's finish off this game based on how we now understand the rules, and we'll we'll do it better 
in the second game. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> I can start to see why using the teleporter to go to another zone would be useful because it means that you get your uh, spin power back. Well, I'm sure it's a, a riveting <laughs> view for everyone as uh, <laughs> I look through the instructions to make sure I know how to play this game. Uh, okay, uh, well, we've found the gem. <laughs> We're at full power, um, so that's not useful at the moment. And uh, Plasma Cubid, we can use the float. <laughs> I quite possibly have been making it much harder for myself. Uh, I can use the float to... Oh, actually no, let's use the jump to avoid that. Yeah, I could have used my tactic in the last bit. I, I've got an idea of how I could have worked it differently. And I found the exit. So, four lives, three spin power. So, we can attack Elder down. And we have the final battle there ready for us when we hopefully get our last actual gem. Um, so, we're starting that with four lives and three spin power. So, Electrolyze, zero versus three. I'm actually just going to use the shield. Um, though, I think we might also be in a position where we might actually end up losing, um, depending on how this turns out. Invisible platform. So we can bypass the next card if we want to. Which is uh, a baddie, so yes. Uh, hover claw, three versus attack power of two, so we defeat it. We get a shield, our attack power goes down to two. Switch, doesn't make any difference at this point. Turbocopter, I'm going to use the shield, uh, and so we defeat it and don't lose a power up, get extra life, which is no use to us whatsoever at this point because we've got full lives, which is full, and we've hit the exit. Now, I think that means it's a game over. I don't know if I can use float to go back to that because I can't go to any of the other zones because they've all been completed. So yeah, I think um, I think we've lost this game. Uh, yeah, it's a pity. I thought we were, we were gonna actually gonna do it there. Phew. Okay. Oh, cool. So we just go down to three lives then. That's good. <laughs> I swear, I do swear that I did read the rules, but obviously, um, not either not closely enough or I've just forgotten them all. Oh, um, yeah, let's continue. 
Electro Bolt, we can use the float to skip. The next game will be um, obviously smoother. <laughs> uh, and we find the gym. Gym? <laughs> the gem. Our spin power goes back up to three. So, no, what am I doing? That stays there. Industrial steam hazard. It uh, it kills us. So I don't have anything to uh, to skip past it. Three versus zero. It's defeated, and we get power up. Visible platform allows us to skip over the next square, which was uh, Intelligent, which is what we skipped over last time. So we're getting close to that exit again. Two, three, shield. We keep that. Switch makes no difference. Turbocopter. Three, one, it's defeated. We go down to two power. And we get the exit. And our lives go back up to three because we got to the exit and we're up to the, on the final battle. Now, I did read these rules. I've seen that we've got three spin power. And three lives, we defeat him. And so, we've won. Uh, hope that is uh, that's correct. And we've we've actually beaten the evil final battle of Elder Down, and we've actually won a game. Yay! <laughs> and it's the right bit of music to go with it as well. <laughs> the sort of dance season number as well. <laughs> so there we go. Um, we have completed our first game of, uh, <laughs> of Dog the Samurai Duck card game. Uh... <laughs> How long is it the video been? Um, what time is it now? I think we could probably get uh, another game in now that we actually know the rules and we can actually follow them properly. If uh, everyone's interested in seeing how it's meant to be played rather than uh, my my terrible <laughs> way of playing it, so what we've got to do is obviously uh, reshuffle our decks. And, uh, yeah. We actually know our rules and stuff this time, so, um... This should be a breeze, obviously. So I have to say... I do wonder who picked the music for the CD32 version of Donk. Because it's very different to the original soundtrack. It's like very sort of Eurodance. <laughs> so, just quickly shuffling these cards, which I'm sure is absolutely riveting to watch, but. Uh, Need to make sure we have a completely new game for us to play. That is uh, hopefully a little different. Oh, 
Yeah, this is how the original Amiga version sounded. Now I will say it's annoying, it's actually much easier to find the uh, CD32 soundtrack on uh, YouTube and online than the original. It's one of those that doesn't seem to have been uploaded by anyone. Uh, they're all in the right order. <laughs> yeah, there's the the big thing with the CD32. It's like, oh, we've gone from having three floppy disks for the game to uh, having, which would have been what, maybe two te uh, two megabytes, 880k times three. Yeah. Um. So lots of games ended up putting lots of CD tracks and full motion video. There was a bit too much full motion video that you couldn't skip on Donk for the CD32, I will, I have to say. Um, which in some ways ended up slowing the game down a little bit compared to the, the original Amiga version. <laughs> I like the original music! I'm, I'm a real weirdo that actually enjoyed the original music. Every so often I just find myself humming it. It's, but I'm... I will admit to being a, a, a real Amiga nerd of the highest degree. <laughs> um, like the, all the, the Amiga music here, I actually copy actually sort of pulled well recorded when I was recording all my footage for my version of well for my video on uh, Donk the Samurai Duck game uh, review that I made right <sighs> quick drink just to keep my dry mouth um, from being too dry and uh, I think we're just about ready to start our second game. Oh, this music cuts around a bit. But um, so we have started again with three lives, three spin power. Uh, we get one power up, which is the the eggshell. And uh, gonna try and plow through these in the same order we did last time. So starting sub aqua zone and working our way around. It seemed to work, even though we weren't fo fully following the rules last time, but uh, we've, we've, we've got a better idea of the rules now, so... Hey! <laughs> um, so, let's start. Did I miss a few? Quite possible. I know that you can only hold three, so in some instances, uh, I decided to keep the power-ups I had rather than pick up another one, because I was happy with what I had. Um, but yeah, I'll try and remember to always pick up a power up. Uh, but yeah, All right, let's 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 just jump straight into it. So uh, first card, <laughs> spiked pit straight away. Um, and so we're gonna use our eggshell just to uh, to uh, keep our lives, I guess. I don't know if that's the the right choice right now, but uh, yeah. Spike pit at the very beginning of a level of donk? No, that doesn't sound right at all. <laughs> um, so, next one. Seaweed pod, three versus zero. We defeat him. So, go down to two, and yep, we get our power up. Uh, so, next card, uh, gem. That's uh, that's good. I think this is the first time we actually found the gem before we found the exit. So yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. So next card, Octobot three versus the two. We defeat him. I'm gonna use the shield so we don't lose a point. He goes to the bottom, and we get 
Another card, which is the Eggy Bomb. And Deadly Diver. Um, use the Eggy Bomb again. I'm hoping I'll find the exit sooner rather than later, and I can also do a quick attack on Elder Downs Fortress. We talked about music earlier. Every time this track starts, I think it's a Depeche Mode song. <laughs> Um, Cyberpod 3 versus 1, so it's defeated, we go down to 2 spin power. Drillable platform, well, we're on our way towards uh, the exit anyway, so probably not worth it. And it is the exit that we found next. Now, we've got spin power of 2. So we can't take on Elder Downs Fortress, but we do go up to four lives, and we can go into Electro Moss Zone, which means our spin power gets restored. So, oh, getting map straight away—that's that's actually quite useful. So, teleport, Tuscan Roller. And the gem, so uh, I think that's the right order under there. And we're still already at full spin power, so um, we don't have to worry. And we found the exit straight away. That's uh, that's truly quite shocking. You saw me shuffle them. I did not trick you in any way. You saw me shuffle them, but. The first two zones have been very good to me. Now, spin three power versus the fortress two means that we've damaged Elder Downs Fortress early on. That's looking pretty good. Though we don't have any power up, so it's quite likely we will lose some lives very soon. Um, and we're already at full, full, and <laughs> straight away. We're blocked, so we have to move on. So we'll go on to Hanik Zone, seeing it's the next one that uh, that uh, is in my order list. So Sticky Drill Zero versus Three. I go down to two spin power. He gets defeated, and we get a power up, and we get the jump, which is definitely useful in this zone. And we found the exit straight away. So, uh, yeah, let's move on, shall we? On to uh, Rock Zone, I think. Probably best. This is... <laughs> and we find it an exit in there as the top card as well. So let's go back to Hanuk Zone. And it's really when we find the gem. And then our spin power should, should have gone back up when we came in. So we now know that we've got the entirety of this deck to get through to get to the exit. Uh, so Razor Pit, we've got a jump. So we can avoid it. And next one, Sino Cinematar. Attack power zero. Spin power three, it's defeated. We go down to two. He goes to the bottom of the deck, and we get a power up. Uh, extra life, which actually isn't any use to us, because we're at full lives. Next card Psycho Tank. Two and two. We go down to one. And uh, we don't get anything. And uh, we hit switchable block, so we have to change the zone. So let's go back to rock zone. Because we know there is a switch in there somewhere. Which means our spin power goes back up to three. Uh, and let's plow on. Invisible platform. So that means we can bypass the next card if we want to. 
which is the gem, so we obviously don't want to bypass that. Hey, hello! Hopefully you're enjoying uh, me playing a card game of all things, <laughs> which is probably not, doesn't happen all that often on uh, these streaming channels. But it's a good card game of a great old Amiga game, so eh, it makes me happy. And so, next card, map. So we can look at the next four cards, which is useful. Let's skip over all those three. Look at the next four cards in the, the zone, then move to any one of those. Well, let's skip over all those baddies and just go with this one. And I forgot to put the map back into the deck. There we go. Uh, one versus the three is defeated. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> One of the things I thought it had to uh, use the the life power up. Is it still in here? Yeah, we'll keep it then. Uh, blade pit, <laughs> which probably would have been. Good to have known because that takes my life down to three because I've got nothing to avoid it. I think I'm actually just going to hold on to it for now. This card is switch, which turns the switchable block off. <laughs> yeah, Sino Kono, uh, it's begin. Sino Kono Games is the guy that designed this game that we're playing right now and was one of the designers on uh, <laughs> and was uh, one of the original designers on the, the Donk game as well. So he's been really great in helping us uh, play through and sort of remind me of what the rules is because uh, I've not been paying attention to them enough. And, uh, and uh, for anyone watching uh, if you want to put the URL to uh, the Game Crafter, where they can buy this game if they're interested in it, uh, you can I, you can more uh, you're more than welcome to drop that link into the the chat, uh, and I will probably attach that to the description of this video as well. Um, continue on with the game. So Switch turned off the, the switchable blocks so we can go back to those in a bit and eh, we found the exit. So it's, uh, it's not bad actually but we've only got spin power 2 so we cannot take on the fortress. Um, but I am going to go here I think so our spin power goes back up. That goes to the bottom. And so let's see how we go. Teleporter, uh, not useful right now. Plasma cube, we don't have anything to avoid it, so we go down to lives and I think I'm actually going to use my extra life to bring me back up to three I don't know why I just happy to have three lives than two uh, so let's continue one versus three we go down to two it gets defeated And we get a power up, which is the shield. Zero versus two. It's defeated as well. Uh, 
I am actually, actually I'm not going to use the shield. Let's go down to one power and get another power, which is a float. And we find the exit. Which means we go back up to four lives. Uh, we only got spin power of one, so we can't touch Elder down again. Um, so let's go back to Plasma Zone. Uh, spin power goes back up to three. Walker Bot 2 versus R3, it gets defeated. I'll use the shield to try and keep. Uh, we're going to get a, a, one card in there, so no. Take that down. And we get an old timer. Magmasaurus 1 versus the 3, we defeat it. I am going to use the shield this time. So we, we stay at 3, and we get an extra. Card. And we've hit the exit. <laughs> so let's go back to Rock Zone. We're already in a reasonable state with that lot. I think my cards were all a bit screwed up. But we find the, the gem next. So we still want to go back through this whole lot. Sorry, bit of a dry throat. Not used to talking this much. <laughs> so let's continue through this zone. Uh, invisible platform. Let's skip the next one, but I don't. I want that map. That gets us much further. One, two, three, and four. So I'm happy to take on the Grumblebee. So it gives us a, gets us a little bit closer to the exit. Though. Use the float over a void of pit, hazard, or enemy. Yes, um, if you've not seen the earlier bits, the, the goal is to find the gem in each of the, the levels and then get to the exit. Um, if you get to the exit first, you have to then go to one of the other zones, but you can then return back again to uh, collect a gem. And then you have to work your way back through to find the exit. Uh, and then when you finish the zones, if you have enough spin power, you can then start attacking the final bad guy in the middle. Um, So I'm actually going to use this float. This might be a dangerous thing to do, but uh, I'm going to use the float to avoid the Grumblebee. I'm hoping this is uh, the right tactic. Blade Pit, we can use the jump to avoid that. Switch, we don't have anything to unswitch. So goes there and exit now with that because I have a spin power three I can now attack Elder Down's for damage fortress to expose Elder Down which leaves us in a pretty good position I think so we're gonna go back to uh, plasma zone so our exit goes to the bottom. And so our next three, three. two versus three is defeated. I keep wanting to put it down there for some reason. So there it goes there. Spin power goes down to two. Lava ball. Yikes. We don't have anything, so we're gonna go down to Three lives. Dread 
drillable platform. I don't want to spend any of my spin power, so I'm not going to use that. And I probably should have done, because I'm now down to two lives. <laughs> but I think that's all the hazards in this level passed, so we might be okay. Next one, Fire Ant, zero versus the two. to a one spin power it goes under there and we get a pickup shield which is useful I did and did I miss In the helipod I don't know if you say so um Get the gem, our spin power goes back up to two. Fortunately, you're still not gonna have enough to attack him. We're gonna have to make sure we do it soon. Uh, we've hit switchable block, so we're blocked. So, uh, we might be okay, actually. So, let's go to Hab Zone. So, our lives go, uh, spin power, sorry goes uh, back up to three and we can now attack hab zone and first off is a plasma zone so let's use the egg shield so we don't lose a life and that goes to the bottom there fungal fury zero versus the three it's dead and I'm actually going to use the shield to make sure that I don't lose the spin power. So I may be doing this wrong. And got another shield. Um, so, the three versus beats the two. Use the shield again. So we don't lose the spin power. And we gain an eggy bomb. Next card is Prana Plant. I am going to use the Eggy Bomb to defeat the Prana Plant. So we get an extra card. He goes by. Switch. Switchable block gets turned off. It goes under there. And ah, uh, we found the exit. Ah, uh, it's really hoping to get the gem first, but uh, never mind. Uh, so we return to this zone. First we turn the switch off. And next card is Walkerbot 3 versus 2. It's defeated. And we get a card. Now we get extra life which I might as well spend now to go back up to three lives it goes there it goes there one three versus the one is defeated that goes down to two and we get a shield and then we hit the exit. So we go up to four lives. We're gonna return to here and our spin power goes back up to three. That goes to the bottom of the pile. And map, I'm guessing the gem is not far off. There, there's the gem. So I'm going to jump straight to that card because we can skip the next three. But we know we've got quite a bit of the deck to get back through before we can uh, basically get to the exit. And hopefully, have enough spin power to try and defeat Elder now because we have to beat him. Uh, by the end of this on the, this run 
so this could be a bit tricky. Teleport. No, no use. Plasma dome, jump over it. We've got fungal fury. Three beats the zero with the shields, doesn't go down. Float, that might be useful. Let's try and do it. Space invader, use the float to get over him. We don't get a pickup for that, so uh, we'll see. It's the prana plant. The one versus the three, so it goes down to two. Yeah. And then I think it's the exit next, yeah. Now I might be wrong. Yeah. I'd used up the spin uh, the floats to try and skip over a bad guy. I was hoping to try and get to the exit quicker, but it didn't work out right. So I think um is more or less a game over. So I could go through here, I could even if I had enough power, I'd could defeat that, but I couldn't then take on Elder Down after. You have to actually get to him when he's in the final battle, don't you? Yeah, I think I've lost as well. Oh, it was looking so promising as well. <laughs> Okay, um, since seeing that only took like 20 minutes, uh, we could probably get one more game in and see if we can uh, win fully following the uh, the full set of rules. <laughs> uh, I I put a lot of time into the the original Amiga game and. And there is some levels I will say, like, just kicked my ass because, like, hidden, like, just you'll be walking along and then something will drop out the ceiling and kill you instantly. It's like, what? How? When did that happen? Very unforgiving in places. <laughs> so, let's, uh,. I think we've got time for one more game. So, shuffling the deck again. But, uh, yeah, we came close. I probably should have used the float 
to leave that level rather than trying to jump over the bad D and then try to come back afterwards, maybe. Mm. <laughs> Just a few, in uh, right at the beginning as well. But, uh, it uh, it was a sign of the time. It, like even the earlier demos on Amiga format and stuff had uh, some of the the enemy placements and uh, hazard placements like that. I actually wouldn't have minded some of the, the hazard placements if they weren't insta-deaths. If they were just took a bit of life away, then I would have been okay with it. But the fact that a lot of them were insta-deaths, that made it a bit harder to, to swallow. But and Probably didn't even need to shuffle this deck, we didn't, uh, this zone, we didn't even touch it. But uh, let's do it for consistency's sake. Right. Oop. Held her down, gets uh, put back. And let's quickly shuffle the power ups. Set that. And I think we're just about ready to go again. So, <laughs> uh, uh, I know, I think, uh, I know the, the what it's like. Uh, though thankfully, I think game dev is a bit more forgiving these days. That uh, I've not had to work at 3 a.m. in the morning, but I have been sort of done like six weeks solid without a single day off, coming in at nine in the morning and leaving at like 12 at the evening. So game dev, it never changes. Uh, well, it does slightly. <laughs> But uh, yeah, enough of uh, enough of that. Um, so let's do one more run through, shall we? <laughs> so let's take our one power up to start off with uh, the eggshell. That's uh, useful and start. Where we've been starting so far, even though uh, I don't know whether it's been entirely a uh, great strategy so far, was sub aqua zone. And I think some of these are. How did I. Not notice that. Most of the cards were the wrong way around. Right. There we go. Let's 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 properly get back into it this time. So sub aqua zone. Seawee pod. Three versus the the zero. Uh, defeated. Spin power goes down to two, and we get another power up. And we're back to that Euro dance song again. <laughs> uh. Next card, a oh, gem. Yeah. Whether or not that's a good thing to get the gem that early, I'm not sure, but it depends on if we hit the exit sooner rather than later. And the next card is Octobot. Three, two, with the shield. It's defeated. Our spin power stays the same. Shield goes under there. We get another power up. And we get Cybercod. 
1 versus the 3. We beat it, goes down to 2. It goes under there. And the shield. Switch, nothing to switch off yet. So it goes under there. Deadly Dive, three, 2 versus the 1. Defeated. One spin power. Old timer, I think I prefer what I've got. Grillable platform. No, not going to use that. Plankton ball, zero versus the one. It's defeated. Get another power up. Uh, I think I prefer what we've got. Mm. <laughs> uh, I'm going to continue in this zone, and it's the exit. I was tempted to use the float to go over, and then I could have come back with more full health, and I probably would have had to take down the fortress properly, but um, I probably should should have done that. Oh well. Oh, well, we go up to full lives. We're going into the next zone with full power. And straight off we get the gem. <laughs> so we're already at full power, so... It's not going to help us much here. And <laughs> actually, <laughs> we get the exit straight away. And we get full spin power, so Elder Downs Fortress gets damaged very early on. Again, you saw me shuffle these decks, so. And I'm, I've got no sleight of hand going on here. Oh. Right, give me one second to switch out my battery on my camera. So, still here though, I think my camera just shifted. And that battery's just gone flying across the room. My highly professional stream. <laughs> I thought I'd actually prepared for this. And I'd obviously not done that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I thought I'd use my my DS, uh, DLSR to record this because it should be nice high quality and everything. But the battery obviously cannot last longer than what like an hour and a half or something we've been doing this for. So, uh, <laughs> but we're back again. <laughs> Uh, I do the most professional streams going, don't I? <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're back again, and uh, I think we're just about to take on Plasma Zone. Uh, and first thing up gets the Heat Load Pod. Three versus two. It's dead. I need to stop doing that. Uh. No, let's just go through just as likely that we'll um, hit an exit before we go on next. Oh, a magma pit. You know what? I'm just going to take the hit. <laughs> I want to keep the, the float. 
freaking lava ball. Let's take the hit again. And Magmasaurus, two versus the one, it's defeated. And now down to spin power of one. And we can look at that. I'm actually going to switch out the eggshell for the eggy bomb. This might come back to bite me on the ass, but uh, I think we've already gone past the two hazards in that. So, and we've hit the exit. So, we go back up to full spin power, and we can go on to panic zone. Yes. Jetpack Jeopardy. So, three versus the one, it's defeated. Psycho tank. Uh, the two versus the two. It equals out. Oh, race bits. So let's use float to skip past that. I don't want this one to end too soon. And we find the exit. So let's go back to this zone because we're going to hit probably the the switch block before we before too long. So let's get that in play. That goes back up to three. It's fire ant zero. This is our three. It's Defeated. It goes down to two, and we get that. And we might as well spend that now to get our life back up again. Drillable platform. I want to keep my spin power for now. And the switchable block. <laughs> I could have used that to skip over it, I guess, but uh, it's okay. We know we were going to have to return to this again at some point. So that returns to three. Let's go back to this zone. Plasma cube. And nothing we've got can uh, help us there, so... Yeah, you have to move to a, a different zone. Uh, and we find the gem. Spin power still at three. Uh, we're already at full power. So, next one. Switchable block. So let's start hitting our zones that have the switch in it. So, blade pit. Ouch. If we hit another hazard sooner rather than later, this could be dangerous. Switch. Those are now accessible. I think we've hit the exit. Oh. I know I've got hazards to hit in there. I'm going to go with, to the hab zone because hopefully this might be a bit easier on me. Imagine. I'm going to go 
with this one. No, I'm gonna go to Hanuk Zone. I think. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so zero. This is our three. I might have completely misremembered this, but I'm going to use the shield so we don't lose. We get another shield, which is good. Teleport device. To teleport. No, we don't want to teleport. So you know, Scimitar 3 versus 2, we defeat it, use the shield, jump, yeah, get back to Jeopardy, and use the AG bomb to take him out, so grabbing the wrong card, we get another card, shield, Psycho type 2 versus the 3. The shield keeps us at 3. Get an old timer. Razor pit jump. Not a problem. And the exit! <laughs> oh. So we gain a life. And we've got tap spin power three so we can defeat the fortress. Did I put the jump back? Oh yeah, I didn't. I put the jump back there. So that sorted. So I'm going to con go to Hab Zone. Yep, I just noticed that. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go to Hab Zone and hopefully get through that to get me some more lives and stuff. Yeah. Space Invader, 3 versus the 2, it gets defeated. So, power up, jump, we go down to 2, get the gem, which brings us back up to 3. Fungal. Fury, 3 versus the 0, we've defeated it, put it in the right deck, we've got Eggshell which is really useful at the moment, seeing we've only got 2 lives, Spin Power goes down to 2, is the map, Ooh, that's useful, so we want to skip that one definitely, and that one, and we can skip straight to the exit. Float, do we? Yeah, for now, we use that to get to the exit. Which gives us. gets us back up to three lives. to Plasma Zone and we can go back up to 3 Spin Power so next card Gem uh, <laughs> already at full power Walker Bot 3 versus the 2 it's defeated oh almost did it again Float. I'm gonna take the float rather than old timer. Uh, no, yeah, save of old timer. Two. 
to two. It's avoided. Magma pit. So we can use the jump to avoid that. Now, I've got an idea. So I know with lava ball. So I'm going to use the float to to avoid that and come over to this zone. Which means I go up to three. So we're now going to, we've used the float to come to construct zone. There is some thinking behind this, how well this works out. We'll see in a minute. So three beats the two, so we get extra life cards. So I will hold on to that. We go down to two. We get the gem, so we're actually back up to three. Switch, which we don't need. And the exit. Oh, actually, this this is going to work out. <laughs> this is going to work out. So we've completed that zone. We've got three spin power, which will defeat that boss. So we're on the, we've got the final battle there. Now we're going to return to Plasma Zone. And... We got an extra life, so we're back up to four. And Magnosaurus will defeat. Uh, we go down to two spin power. Next card is the exit. And I think we've won. So we've got four lives, two spin power, an attack power of four. Two, you need at least you need all four lives which we've done and we've won we have won properly following the rules correctly yeah <laughs> and boom Whew. That was pretty exciting at the end there. I just realised that some of the cars were off the edge, edge of the screen there. Top. Oh, you ruined my spot. I thought I'd... <laughs> I completely forgot about this. <laughs> oh, I got ahead of myself. I got horribly ahead of myself. Oh, I... I, I oh, right. Let's let's finish this zone. Now. Hopefully, we can do it. Oh, oh well. Well, we found the gem, and we got to work through the entirety of that deck. Yeah. You couldn't let me have it, could you? <laughs> uh, well, this could end up being bad actually <laughs> this could be really bad actually oh dear so what well, zero versus that he gets defeated spin power goes down to two um we get a pick up which is a shield which is good map we can get, skip the next one one two Actually, if we go to that card, that gets us to skip the next card, which is that guy. And we have a blade pit, but uh, 
we don't have, well, he defeats us, but we can then use the eggshell. So we don't lose a life. Next one, switch. Don't care about. And we now have the exit. With the gem. So we have all seven gems. We've got the same spin power of two and four lives. So that should be him dead. Yes, that's right. Chat. <laughs> I didn't uh, actually remember all the everything this time, and I think we managed to rush through that zone in record time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and the entire chat is shocked that I actually did it. <laughs> that I actually remembered everything this time. <laughs> well, hopefully everyone who's watched this actually... Uh, <laughs> quite enjoyed it and uh, should definitely check out getting a copy of it because uh, it's uh, it's actually quite reasonable in price though uh, actually yeah and it didn't even get uh, stung on customs as well so uh, that was pretty good if we do it, uh, this again we might have to find uh, someone else to, to take part as the second player as uh, good old Jugs Judo <laughs> Uh, and we can see what a, the two-player game looks like. Oh, I really enjoyed that as well. Thank you for making not just an amazing Amiga title in uh, Donk the Samurai Duck, but also the Donk Samurai card game as well. Because, yeah, that's actually really well done. And uh, I do hope that more people buy it, because it is a very fun game to play. And I swear... We got this bit of music again that we won. We got when we won the first game, even though I sort of cheated my way through that first game. But uh, thank you for for your, your help in uh, getting the rules correct and everything. And I hope everyone enjoyed this as much as I did. And uh, I think I'm going to call it there, since it's been almost two hours now. Even if I did start a bit late due to yes, there's actually three difficulty levels as well. Uh, I mentioned briefly difficult, or the skill levels at the beginning, but uh, on easy mode you gain one spin power for finding a gem and you gain one life for completing a zone. On uh, normal, or scrambled as it's here, you choose if you want to get a spin power for finding a gem or you get a life for completing a zone, but not both. And on hard, uh, you, you don't get anything <laughs> at all. There is a very nicely done sort of two page colour uh, instruction manual that comes with the game. And a very colourful box as well. <laughs> and it actually comes with a set of uh, like just an extra set of uh, nice graphic cards as well. This one based on the original box art as well. As well as a few nice custom bits of artwork as well. On top of all the, the lovely artwork that's here already. So, um, yeah. I've hope you've all enjoyed this as much as I have and I think I'm going to call it a night so I can actually get uh, a bit more fluids down my throat because I'm feeling very dry mouth now but I uh, hope everyone's enjoyed it and uh, until next time I've been the Goldfish this was a wonderfully done card game that I will be playing more again yeah <laughs> I'm guessing this one's from the possible Dreamcast version. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hopefully catch everyone again soon. Right. Thank you very much.